All right. So instead of going to the analyst desk, we are ready in to get yeah, into game. This is our time to shine, baby. Yeah. We, we get to be the analysts. Let's analyze. Uh, well, no, we're not going to analyze. That's that's not our good forte. Good starting three-point position there in the fountain. <laughs> the turrets are all deployed. It all seems Look to be good to go. Look at that incredible move speed coming out of Von Venice there on the blue side. But we are underway. It is the third place match. Von Menace on the blue side taking on Gangstars Vega on the red. And it's going to be that Lane Glaive going up against Love Ice Forever. We saw this in the semifinals as well. Yeah, so again, this is a little bit of a bigger rematch uh, than some people might actually realize because in the winner's semis, it was Gangstars Vega and Von Menace going head to head. But of course, again, yesterday we did see two games of Saw coming out from Gangstars Vega in two different matchups. Did not work out. Looks like they've lost total confidence in it here. And but Fuji in that lane, Glaive. Glaive does do some fantastic work, and Gangstars Vega is one of the better teams with it. Yeah, I mean, it's especially because of the fact that they have just a lot of practice on it with multiple players. I'm a little surprised it's not old school running that glaive, but Ooh. instead it's going to be Wrecked getting caught here. Yeah, it's not old school getting caught, but Rek did take a good stun right there. We did have that big rotation from Vaughn, but the Fuji coming down, and that's going to be a kill right there for the Kashka already. Vaughn is now going to be having to run for the hills as they lose out the Catherine as well, and impressive. That's two kills already going over to old school, and this is not a good start for Vaughn Menace. Yeah, not at all. And usually we talk about how when you get an early kill, it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't affect the game too, too much. But right now, Old School going deep into the enemy jungle, trying to steal away these camps. Ooh, and he gets yeah. both of them and is now going to be able to probably get out with the help of Rex, but we'll have to see. All right, so we got the shield to mitigate a little bit there of that stun, but Old School, he can just pounce out of this one. That's going to be some mines. It only does hit Phoenix, but Rex, again, he's trying to do some body block. He's trying to peel away here for Old School, and it does not look like Von Menace can actually catch her at this point. So thanks to those two kills and the bit of jungle stealing, it Fuji. is a small lead for Gangstars, oh, but they they're going to collapse. They didn't see Fuji coming down here either. Old School still a big target. Wrecked is now coming back to this, but he's actually going to have to run away. Keep Celeste out of this fight. Arden's now there to protect that Old School, and now Von C, he is not looking so healthy. He is going to have to just dance through this one. He's going to go try back in on top of Old School. And low hit, but he dodges out the Halo Genesis. Two kills, but... He lived through the auto attack of Love Ice. No, he didn't. Love Ice Forever did actually get the Koshka at the end of it. So they do get a kill for their trouble, but this is a huge start for Gangstars Vega. Yeah, absolutely amazing heads up play there by Fuji. As the teams were collapsing, he knew that Love Ice Forever was going to be coming down from the lane. They saw him disappear from the lane. He immediately goes up with the afterburn just to keep him away from the fight long enough that the rest of his teammates could get that two on two because Koshka will win two V2s just on the premise of being Kashka in the early game. And Kashka with two crystal bits and two light armors early on. Yeah, I I'm, I'm definitely have a lot more confidence that those 2v2s actually go a lot better. But this is Vaughn Menace. Like, this is the hive mind. They very rarely ever stick to a 2v2 mentality. They always get three together. Like right now, Love Ice Forever comes down, gets that shot, and now they find Rex. Now they find Old School. But yikes, those double crystal bits are doing some work. Here comes Fuji as well. We're going to be looking for that after aftershock. But Love Ice Forever, could he actually be the target? Vaughn C, there's going to be the stun on Celeste. Vaughn C is actually real low. Good stun there. Top of Fuji, he has to be very careful. Careful, but we do trade it out. Another kill to Kashka. Rona does pick up the glaive, but Juan C is not looking so hot. He's going to drop, and this could actually be another three kills going to Gangstars with Phoenix going down. Yeah, they will get all three kills. It is not the early game ace, though, as Love Ice Forever did respawn in time. But Gangstars Vega are coming out so much more aggressive than what they normally do, and it's working so well for them. Oh, Von C, 2v1 is just not gonna be your specialty, not with Old School sitting at five kills in three minutes. They Ryan are able to take away those backs, and Rona is really starting to suffer this early game. Old School getting that Koshka, I mean, she has been a huge ban in this tournament. Fortress and Koshka, I think, are the number one and two ban slots that we've seen. So it's really starting to show out here. We even get the steal here. Fuji did come down. Rack not looking so healthy, but like the money difference is really starting to add up. Yeah, they're building up a lead here, and it's Will it stay though? Is a big fight's gonna happen here, three on three. Well, again, Phoenix is gonna be in there with that burial. Low hit points on Rex, but they're a bit too greedy. The Celeste is gonna go down, another kill going over to Kashka. Phoenix is just trying to run away, but Old School has that move speed. Phoenix though, with the boots and with that A, looks like she might be okay. Old School's just gonna go under it. There's the afterburn and the stun, but it's just not enough. That barrier is back in action. Yeah, Old School is already 6-1-2. and two. He alone has more than a kill a minute 
thus far in this game. Absolutely amazing play coming out from Koshka early on. And with that gold mine going down, decent payout, but it's good vision control. And again, more into the pockets here of Gangstars Vega. 1.2 thousand gold between these teams. And Vaughn Menace, I mean, I've, I'll confess, I haven't really seen them like dominate this early game. They do really seem to prefer more of these triple stun or a little bit more of a late game comp. But Gangstars is really just having the time of their lives here. Yeah, they're looking so much better now than they have really in yesterday or today. I don't feel th I, they're looking a lot stronger than what I've seen out of them. And I don't know if it's just because they got the Kashka Glaive. I don't know if they just felt revitalized after maybe losing in the semifinals. Just a, a resurgence of energy. Who knows what it actually is, but they are just really bringing the fight to Vaughn. And as you said a little bit earlier, Vaughn has now actually suffered not only their first loss, but their first series uh, that did not go their way. That is why they are here into this third match, uh, third place match. Now, Love Ice Forever back into the lane. How has he actually been doing for Farm 36 compared to the 36 of Fuji? So d despite all this roaming, despite all these kills, they are actually maintaining a, a more parity when it comes to this lane. Now, we do got Phoenix there, a little bit more of a babysit there for our Celeste. If the Glaive does go in, you can immediately expect Old School to go with him. And Wrecked, he's going to be the guy to check out the bush. They are going to find the Phoenix, but there's no Rona. Uh, she is actually down into the jungle, and this three-man collapse. Are they going to go looking for the Barbarian? They'll find it, but it's not going to be a steal. Yeah, and with that into the fray, Rona's going to get out of there pretty easily. So... Not a whole lot gained from that other than just knowledge, I guess, but they are just going to move in, steal a couple of the smaller camps and make their way over to that shop. We see Minion Candy being picked yep. up just to continue to keep that gold mine in their control no, as Fuji. Fuji walks into a party. No, he walks into it, but he's going to make this his fight. Fonzi just gets absolutely trashed. The Solar Storm goes right through Wrecked and Fuji, but it's not going to be enough for Rona to outrun Old School. That's another kill. 7-1-2, and two, unbeatable, and an aftershock. Right now, Old School is doing this early thing, and with that yummy catnip frenzy, Love Ice Forever just gets deleted. Yeah, that was a big fight here for Gangstars. They are taking every advantage that they can in this game. Up 10 to 2 now in kills and a big gold lead for a, for a Von Menace game, really. Because we saw in the semifinal, they were constantly within 1,000 gold despite the loss. Now they're about 2,000 gold behind, two to 3,000. This is a big lead that Gangstars has built up at just seven and a half minutes in. Well, before the 10 minute mark, we're gonna have that gold mine pay out. And again, more minion candies coming into it here from Rec. They really wanna make sure they can secure that immense gold payout. But 10 kills to two, this is definitely looking like a shaky game for Menace. Now, it's not like the worst that it could be. They're not like down 10,000 gold by now or, or anything like that. And we did actually just pick up that Frostburn here for Love Ice Forever. So if they can actually successfully kite, well, um, yeah, that would be fantastic. But at the same time, if this early game keeps rolling, Fuji and Old Score are going to be able to try to end this one earlier, which is where their strength is going to lie. Gauntlet's going to go down. Wrecked. He does actually get that stun. He is going to be separating these teams. Kicks him right through the gauntlet. Yummy catnip frenzy. Vaughn. Menace just cannot do anything through this. We do trade out one for one, two for one. And there goes the Celeste. It's going to be Phoenix now on the retreat. And Wrecked and Fuji they now have a little bit more free reign to the jungle and lane. Yeah, they did finally get another kill onto Old School. He's sitting at 9, 2, and 3. He already had the Aftershock completed as well. The big, you know, crucial item for Kashka early on. It's, he's doing so well, picking up so many kills over, basically it's actually three quarters of the team's kills belong to Old School on this Kashka. The early game pressure from Gangstars has been immense, but the pr question will be if they can keep it up. I really do like the scaling of Vaughn's team a bit better, but they're going to have to make it to that scaling point. Old school with a piercing shard this early on. That that pierce. I mean, right now, old school is just way so far ahead. You might as well just call this the match of old school at this point. But 12 to 3. Uh, I'm a little surprised, you know, there hasn't been more turret activity. I mean, we've had multiple kills going down, but we haven't really had too much of a chance to kind of siege those turrets. And Love Eyes Forever, I mean, with that Celeste, his wave clear is actually pretty fantastic. So it has been, a, like, a lot more of a team fight game rather than a sieging game at this point. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But, and looking at the levels, you have Old School and Fuji both at level 9, as right now Bond's looking to try and get in onto Fuji, yeah, but after burned out, you're not going to catch a glaive. 
no. The afterburn is just way too much, especially after we have already used into the fray. Uh, and Von C, even if he did jump, I mean, like, the support is just not going to be able to catch up. And the Siege Cannon and the Love Ice Forever would still have to make up some good distance in order to make that happen. But now we actually have some counter siege coming out. This turret is going to be taking some uh, good licks there from those minions, from some of the pot shots there. Von Menace. Von Menace is looking for a better position for this fight. You can see old school and crew, they're actually not very interested in trying to play their game. They're just going to go back up to that lane. Looks like they're going to sacrifice their jungle, but if they can now get some good damage on this turret, they're going to force Vaughn Menace to come to them. Yeah, and with the infusion onto old school, that means this turret is getting destroyed so quickly, and now Vaughn has to come up to try and defend this, yep. and now Gangstars can look for this fight if they want it. Yeah, this is going to be a fight on their turn. There goes the gauntlet. It is going to be keeping these guys in here. The afterburn is going to kick Love Ice forever away. The Solar Storm does rack on top of three, but it's Vaughn C, who is the big target. No defense. He's going to go down, and now no front line means the Celeste is a big focus. She's going to be dropping, and then once more, it's just Phoenix that are left for the defense, but it's, you know, the same old song and dance. They get these kills, but there's really no siege that Gangstars has available to them for this lane. Yeah, they are still picking up a big gold lead, though. I mean, they, because they got that turret just before that fight started, they still have a very sizable gold advantage, but Fuji on this glaive. I've been much more impressed with Fuji's glaive this game than I was from Old School's Glaive in the semifinals. Every single time a fight starts, the gauntlet goes down and Fuji is throwing Celeste through the wall for a big stun and knocking her out of the fight distance-wise as well. And essentially, Gangstars is fighting each skirmish two versus three. Well, if you can effectively delete someone in a very short span of time, yeah, 2v3 is definitely a uh, really good odds in your favor in that regard. And these guys, you know, Gangstars, you know, we talked about the Frostburn a little bit. Wrecked is very likely just not going to care about Watsi at this point. Old School's just going to come back. Look at that just first damage right there. Old School actually could be a little bit of trouble. Yummy Count and Frenzy. Wrecked is there to help him. Here comes Fuji now. This will make it a three. The Red Mist did some work, but Fuji comes in, makes a statement, takes out the Celeste, and that was allowing Koshka now to take down that Rogue. They're going to try for this ace this round, but Phoenix, he's our top nut to crack. Fuji, however, is there. They're going to be going under this turret. There's the stun and the ace. This is, again, Gangstar's early game just coming out strong. The turret does pick up one kill in return there, but with that ace buff, with Glaive and Arden still here, they're going to be able to get some serious work onto this turret. They may even take this one down. They oh, are going yeah, to take this no. one down. That's another 900 gold in their pocket. But Vaughn wants to try and fight this. Yeah, you, you can't do this to Fuji. Even with that stun, it allowed the lead for Vaughn C, but he just kicks you back with that afterburn. And, well, guess what? Fights reset. You can't chase it down anymore. Uh, you know, as you said, it was a, tur a kill return. Old school did drop, but still, he's sitting at 10, 3, and 7. Look at that item build coming out. He is going heavy armor. He is basically making sure that Vaughn C is not a threat to him. Yeah, it's... It's really nice to see the fact that while they're not focusing everything onto one hero, which is a very smart strategy that a lot of teams do, as actually going to have to hold that thought for a fight. Ah, uh, the gauntlet's going to go down. Yummy Cat and Frenzy Love Vice Forever is the big target. Red Fist seems to be actually getting off the entire duration. The hit points are actually still all going down. The life springs are now popped, but it is Fuji in the end. He picks up the double. Not only Celeste, but Rona is going to drop onto this one, and Old School is chasing down Phoenix with the help of Arden. That's another ace, and Gangstar's Vega. 20 kills to four. 13 They're just dominating minutes this in, game. 20 kills picked up. That is such a huge performance. And, you know, we're talking about old school a lot because of the you know, large number of kills onto old school. You also have to look at Fuji and Wrecked. 6 1 13. 3 0 15 for Wrecked. They are playing this so well as a team that. There's nothing Vaughn can do at this point. They're so far behind. They're almost down 10,000 gold at 14 minutes. Kraken hasn't even spawned yet, and they're almost down by 10,000 gold. This is a huge, huge deficit. A different way to look at it is that right now, for every 1,000 gold that Vaughn Menace has accrued, it's been 2,000 gold for Gangstars Vega. They are basically doubling their opponents, uh, more or less, at this point. Now, we did just have another immense gold payout go out. There will be a tiny one to accompany that here, as the Kraken will be spawning soon. And whatever we're going to be lacking in terms of siege from Gangstars Vega, if they can take another fight, and so far the evidence says that they are pretty much in control of these engages, they can get a crack in, and that could just be the end of the game. Yeah, and going back to the, what's been happening in these fights, they've been using old school with Yummy Cat and Frenzy to completely stop the Rona. 
It's the only Captain Frenzy and the Atlas Pauldron are being used to make sure that Rona cannot get the attack speed up, cannot get the, you know, just can't get the rage bar built so that the Red Mist doesn't do as much. Meanwhile, Fuji just focuses on taking out the Celeste. So it's been working very well. 20 kills to 4 in 15 minutes. The Kraken is now out. The Tiny Gold Payout has come down. Phoenix looking for the stun on top of Old School. Gets the silence off there as well, but the Gauntlet did go down. The Red Mist is trying to take down Old School. Life Spring into the back of it. He's going to jump right back in. Yummy Cabinet Frenzy. Two kills to Koshka. And Phoenix once more is running for his life. But if this ace is about to happen, and all evidence says it will, this will be an ace, and this will be the Kraken as Phoenix is just trying to run into latest as long as possible. It doesn't matter. Aftershock, old school, broken myth, lots of damage. That should be at least a turret, if not more, out of the back. Yeah, and while that ace was being chased, Fuji went up into the lane and shoved this turret, so they will get that third turret destroyed. The base is, the path to the base is now open for Gangstars. They didn't go to the Kraken, but they did just pick up the minion mine. So the minions are going to always be pushing towards Vaughn's base. They will never have to worry about having to get an ace and then have to go all the way back to their turret just to push the lane out again. It's going to constantly be pushing towards Vaughn. It's going to force them to have to sit in their base <laughs> and just farm. They're, the only gold they can get is from those minions coming yep. in because this jungle entirely belongs to Gangstars. Gangstars owns the entire map. Like, let's just be honest about that one. As you said, the only income co to trickle in is whatever Gangstars just allows to be pushed through. They don't even have to push the lane at this point, but as you say, there's a lot of options for these guys. 22,000 to 11. Again, a factor of two. Gangstars has just been doubling their gold gain over Von Menace this entire match. And looking at the items, obviously, as crack is going to be started here, Old School That's not has even, like, a problem. Look yeah, at that. It's going down so quick, but... Old School's items, Aftershock, Broken Myth, Atlas Pauldron, and is almost on to an Aegis as well. You compare that to Rona, <laughs> who just it doesn't have anywhere near that. Rona a Sorrow a Blade. Spot in <laughs> yeah, a Sorrow Blade, and that's the only completed item. Now, 1, 8 versus 14 and 3. It's a heck of a big difference. Wrecked coming in. Now, there's going to be the gauntlet. Old school and Fuji. This could be the end of the game right here. Solar Storm's going to go out. Doesn't even look like it hits anyone. Yummy Cat and Frenzy locking down Von C. Old school is going to be dropping low, but not before they take down that Celeste. Red Mist trying to do its best. They finally actually get a kill on top of Old school, but it's the ace. Fuji cleans it up and wrecked there for the celebration. He's going to take out these turrets for fun just because he can. And with the Kraken pushing down, there's no doubt in my mind this is game one. Yeah, absolutely. 20 seconds still left on the death timers with Kraken, with Glaive. This is going to be the first game. Gangstars now taking a game off of Vaughn. Vaughn has lost three games in a row. There is the something tilt, wrong. 